can feel it. Can you feel it? I can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? I can feel it. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? I can feel it. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? I can feel it. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? I can feel it. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? I can feel it. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? NCAA tournament. Today's game is between the Stetson Hatters and the Texas Longhorns. And our starting lineup. No matter the game, your starting five must be ready to play. As soon as the ball is tossed up, you got to be ready. Too many teams fall behind early because they are just not ready to perform. Here's a look at how these teams plan on controlling the tempo. in this offense. Kelly receives the pass. It's a call for the foul. Too aggressive on defense here. He winds up with the foul. You always get your hand reaching in and get in trouble. And how about some of his averages? You can see there what you can expect from him on the stat sheet. But I'm sure his coach knows... Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? He takes the three. Squared up on the catch. Got his puppies in order. Pushes it. Shots up. But he misses his target. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, thanks for joining us tonight. Gus Johnson here alongside Bill Rafter. On the right side. Jump shot. How about that, Gus? They work it around the perimeter. He goes for three. Oh! Albert receives the ball. Fires the soft move. Hey, I'm just here, ah, so I don't get my own. It's a call for the foul. The Longhorns executing on offense here tonight. Uh, if you keep working together and running this motion off, and still be in position to win. Third team foul. They're set to throw it in from the side. Gallimore getting after it, saves it. Ball's going to stay here. Offensively, they'll set up from the sideline. On the left side. Jump shot. He missed it. And he follows it up again. This guy is really known as a power guy. You know, I love the way this kid uses his body to create opportunities and space. He is just a beast down low. Physical guys. Wow, not our ball. Albert Pan. 
handles the feed. Fires. Shots off. Pulls it in. Out on the left wing. And he can't get the ball. Gosh, foul, the foul, ball. foul. Jump shot. He can't get it to go. Oh, physical play. Out on the wing. He tries the three. Off that time. Rips down the board. Now they work it around the perimeter. In the lane. The sophomore. Pushes it. Fires. Looking for a good shot. Jump shot. Big time dagger. Top of the key. Off the mark. Gets the ball. We're at the eight minute mark. Takes the pass in the paint. And loses it. In. We've got a timeout. More CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA right after this. And we're back. Ready to get things going again after the timeout. And we'll head back down to the other end. This layup is definitely worth a second. But you gotta make those, guys. It's incredibly deflating when you don't. On the outside, looking for the bomb. Not this time. Rejected. And in. This guy is a real talent. Great passer. And this kid really does a good job of reading the game and seeing all four. And he loves to give it up. He really does a good job of scoring as well. Now they're working around the perimeter. No, great. Inside the side heat check time from long range with no luck I own it dump it inside can finish six minutes left on the game clock he shoots from the corner. How about that? Look. On the right side. Look at that block. Terrific. Now in transition. Got it. Wow. Out of bounds, and we're not going anywhere. What's up, Edward? Welcome in, fellas. Let's Appreciate take a the look likes. At this young man's awesome performance so far tonight. As a coach, Cuss, it's always a bonus when players step up. He'll continue to be a nightmare for this defense if they don't change things up. How about the action so far, coach? 
some good postseason tournament action. I'm certain the people watching are enjoying this one. Neither team backing down at this point. I'll tell you what makes the NCAA so special is the fact that it takes one bad night. One bad night, and your season is over. It's going to be a shame that when the final horn sounds, one of these very competitive teams will be out, and their season will be over. Charity strike. Full court pass. Shots up. No luck from downtown. Pushes it. Five minutes left on the game clock. It's stripped. Active hands. Dials up a long range shot and nails it from three. How about this kid, huh? Turnover by the freshman. Now on the run. He missed it. Push it. Out on the left wing. He looks for three. He buries the three. for the foul. They'll throw this one in from the side. Now they work it around the perimeter. Four minutes left on the game clock. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. Well, Bill, this young man's now in his second season of eligibility. Because he's young, but he's been through his freshman year, and he almost missed one. This is going to be another big season for him. Let's see how he does today. Both free throws go. Shots off. What a coach will be happy with that effort. And he can't get them out. Heat check time from long range. How about that, Gus? Takes the pass in the paint. He can't get it to go. Give it here. Welcome back, and we're set to inbound after the timeout. He's on fire! Entry pass in the paint. Put a little English on it. And he lays it up and in. Senior commits the turnover. Here they go in transition. Like ball strip. Ah, he got it up and in. Didn't seem as though anything was going to stop him on that take, Coach. Because that's a great take. Drive into ecstasy. He drove with conviction and was rewarded with the hoop. 
And he's fouled. How about a second time? Check out this layup. How about the concentration at the tin? Despite being banged in the paint. Seniors are important, Gus, because they bring so much to the table in terms of experience, accountability, and consistency. As a coach, you like to have guys like that on the roster who you can depend on. It's that one. Pushes it. And he bangs it down. Now they work it around the perimeter. Turnover. He'll want that one back. On the right side. He shoots from the corner. Comes up empty from deep. In the post. In the lane. And he answered. Oh my gosh. What in the Out of five heck? And a change of possession. The Hatters have been getting contributions from multiple players here tonight. Every player who's stepped onto the court has been really focused which makes it extremely tough for the opposition. This type of teamwork is fantastic to watch. We are at the one-minute mark. In the post. Jump shot. No. When you get an offensive rebound and then score, it really is disheartening for the D. Too aggressive on the He lines up with the ball. And how about some of his average great players find different ways up, to contribute every game? Because they know the only stat that really matters is wins. He got a vote. On the left side. Fire. Perfect. Shots off. What a rebound. It's mine. Thanks for the likes over there on Facebook. Here we see how these two teams are. Seven people on Facebook? Let's so go. Long. Here's a look at how both teams are doing with their keys to the game. All right, here it is. Wow, we got seven on Facebook, man. Let's go. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Miracle runs. Stats Second here. half of play, Coach, NCAA tournament. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Who's going to fight to ensure that they move on to the next round? The answer, just a moment. Well, we've heard it before, Gus. Survive in advance. I'm certain that these teams will come out and do whatever it takes to survive. A charge? Nobody wants to be making that long loser's walk to the locker room tonight. Come on now. There you go, Burke. Uncharacteristic mistake there by the seam. Gosh. He missed it. Rebound and run. With the oop. <laughs> Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the corner. He misses from downtown.
Oh my lord. Inside. Pushes it. He shoots from the deep corner. The freshman. Uh, we got him 12. Attack. <clears throat> it gave us realistic scores, so I play every game. 20 minutes would take forever. Playing 40 games. Jump shot. And he can't get the bounce. Way to get up, big fella. Gallimore gets the ball. Gallimore, baby. He a three. Hager. I sub the bench in myself. I stick with five. Unless I get foul trouble or fatigue. Albert receives the pass. I like it a lot. Fired. And he misses the shot. On the left side. Gosh. He can't get it to go. Get out and fill. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy. Long pass down court. That he kid, baby. And it goes. What a big time shot. <sighs> He fires from Huge long range. Mess. Shots off. Gallimore takes the feed. Steals the ball. The Longhorns in a hurry. Ooh, what a flush. <sighs> I gotta calm down, man. Jump shot. Shots off. Oh, competitive guys. Apparently I'm going big on some country. Something, I don't know. The shot won't fall. Appreciate it though. There you go, Sean. Shots off. That a boy. Come on. He gets the shot to fall. I'm already edgy. Already edgy. Very edgy. Had to ban some moron on Twitch. What a moron. Around eight minutes remaining. He shoots from the corner. Got it! Albert takes the pass. He shoots from the corner. No! That's a good stop defensively. One shot and get it out. He can't get around the trap. What the, the heck? I want to throw to Tyrell on Turn the cut. Over, he'll go the other way. Yeah, Thad's restream does. Can what a pass on the backdoor cut. Get out of my way. They work the perimeter. I like it a lot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Good. Jeez, man. Hey, that's great. Love it. Thanks for the likes. We are at the seven minute mark. Top of the key. Ooh, he jams. Coach about to adjust his rotation. Get it down on the low block. Wow, that's cheesy. That's cheesy. On the right side. Nobody he comes away with it. Nobody. Pushing in transition. Up and in. <laughs> hey, if they're bots, at least they're liking the stream. I should check out my Facebook and see if they're talking. Albert receives the ball. Second team. James is coming in. Too aggressive on defense. Why 
ends up with the foul. You always get your hand reaching in, you get in trouble. Doesn't get much better than this in NCAA tournament basketball. A close first half, second half has been much the same. And Bill, I've got a hunch that it's going to come down to the final few possessions. Well, my gut tells me that this one is going to come down to coaching on both sides. I think the coach's strategic maneuvers here are going to be the big difference. Making sure that the star players are getting the ball in the right place will be huge. Makes it. Big shot. Big shot. Six minutes left. James fouls out. It'll be all right. Unless we go to overtime. Nice rejection. Dagger it. Dang it. And no! Cleans the glass. On the left side. He strips him clean. Gallimore handles the pass. Gallimore! Put a little English on it. Oh, yeah, you can live chat on Facebook. Here's the line. Oh, no, 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 that's ours. And we'll get a change of possession. The Hatters have come out here and are really focused on moving the ball and playing pretty together. Everyone has been getting involved, Gus. Unselfish play, getting timely defensive stops, and really good execution at the offensive end. Can't elude the trap. Gotta That's slow a down, pretty man. good trap there, slow. Gus. They came together, shut down the passing lanes, and had them locked up. Five minutes left on the game clock. Stolen. Now looking to attack. And he lays it up and in. Come on! It's still now in transition. And we're back ready to get things going again after the timeout. He throws up the shot. He misses from long range. With 10 to shoot now. He shoots from the corner, and he hits the three. That's it. On the right side. And it's knocked away. Great block. Great hustle. Ah, he got it up and in. Cinderella story is about to continue, boys. Shout out to the people on Facebook. Gosh, I'm so mad about Sarah.
guys. No, I love the guys that sit there and say stuff. And they ain't streaming. They ain't streaming nothing. But they're going to sit there and run their mouth and do all this talking. That's fine. Come it inside. He shoots from long range. Go ask Summit. Go ask Summit in our online dynasty. What Max about? You'll find out real quick. And he's fouled. Go ask him. Yeah, I was calling cheesy stuff to get back in the game. Coach, Period. It's tough when almost everyone on the floor can knock down free throw. As a coach, you gotta love it when your team can knock it down at such a high rate. Man, I can't stand them clowns like that. It's good. That finds its way out of bounds, but we'll keep it right here. While they sit in mom's basement, living off her rent. They work it around the perimeter. I'm gonna go talk trash on Twitch for a little while. I'm bored. Just took the poodle for a walk. Come on, give me a break. Well, Bill, it looks like they're gonna spend a little time fouling right here. I'm trying to stretch it out. Some people dread this part of the game, Gus, but the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Foul. And Man, I can't believe it. Luck. Final four, baby. Top team left. And of course, another foul as they try to remain close. Much else they can do. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Good strategy. Ball coming in from the sideline. And the foul will stop the clock momentarily. They'll throw it in from the side. And of course, another foul as they try to remain close. Not much else they can do. Come on, man. This is a snapshot of what he's been bringing to the table each night. It's important to look at everything a player does on both ends of the court. You want to understand how valuable he is to this team. It's that one. Grant, I told you I thought I had this one. Thought I had it. I think I can, I can beat a team if their point guard's not super explosive. And we're ready. And we're back. Just the point guard's good, averaging 20 plus. It's usually typically a really hard game for me to win. Just is. We're gonna get to play for a national championship right here, boys, he in the final the four. Misses from long range. Okay, let's just throw the ball away here. And we have a change in possession here. I like it. Good call. Good call. Good call. On the wing. Attack. Good he call. Uh oh. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. And yet another stoppage, and yet another foul. And why not?
Final four is set. Final four is set. It is Georgia Tech and Purdue on one side. They're both 28 and seven. They're ranked fourth and fifth. Ohio State's third. We beat number two, Tech, uh, Kentucky was out. They got bounced. Oh yeah, James, oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, we beat Texas, we can beat them, t we can beat Ohio State. Purdue, Georgia Tech, Ohio State, and Stetson. What's up, Morgan? Welcome in, man. Great to see you. Yeah, Georgia Tech or Purdue, man. It's going to be interesting. But what a run, man. I just, this is, this is the best run I've ever been on, on the channel, by far. And I almost didn't play this. Because... Again, I was just on edge. I was on the heater. Man, we've won. What, 17 games in a row? Since we, and that was when we made the switch. <laughs> yes, freedom is good. Freedom is good. All right, we're we're 29 and seven, and the Texas Longhorns are also 29 and seven. Or sorry, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Well, and the Longhorns too, but we play the Buckeyes now. That is nice, Morgan. That's a nice guy. Thad actually saved a, uh, Thad, you should tell him this story about that baby cat that you found, didn't have a mom, and you milked it since it was a baby. You fed it, warmed up, vitamin D, it's a good man, Thad. You're a good man. Thad has saved a lot of animals and people. And uh, Thad's probably one of the better guys I've been around, Morgan. Freedom! He, uh, you know, Thad, he, uh, he does a lot of work in the community. He, uh, just a good guy. I couldn't believe it the other day when I was scrolling Facebook. And Thad was, uh, the Youth Community Award winner for the uh, state of Minnesota for saving animals and all that stuff. Yeah, he adopted a wild animal. Thad also has a story. I was talking to him on the phone the other day. He was in the supermarket and And Thad, he uh, saw this little kid and he didn't have his mom. He was frightened and scared and 
he was over by the uh, milk section where Thad was picking up milk for the cat that he saved. And here, it was like God puts these things in front of Thad. And Thad took the little kid by the hand, walked him over to the counter and said, hey, can you help me find this child's mom? He's in, you know, a very nervous, scared state of mind. And 10 minutes later, they found the mom. Mom forgot, forgot that she brought the kid to the store, Morgan, and it's pretty neat. Dad's a neat guy. That's, Dad was the first one on my streams. He helped me. He literally helps everyone, everyone. And uh, a lot of times you'll see guys come in in the chat and Morgan and they'll say, where is Thad, where is Thad? Because they literally look up to this guy. Honestly, I would, if I were you Morgan, I'd cling on to Thad like talk to him daily he's the one yeah everybody knows these i mean he has a lot of stories Where's yo that? pick up the phone what's up what's up and then there's an article on, about that, and I can't share his name because he doesn't like me to, but Morgan. There's a picture of him. He's with the police chief. They're out of Minneapolis, and he's taking a picture. He was honored from saving two men from a burning mobile home in 2021. It's an amazing story. He was, uh, the story is he arrived before police and uh, the fire arrived. And he noticed there was a fire in the house. Uh, he knew that the mobile home was occupied, like he had seen people there before. And uh, he knew there was someone in there that was that was in a wheelchair, she was disabled. Thad ran in there, it burnt both of his eyebrows off and part of his front hair. Frickin' dude's a legend, man. Thad's no joke. Saving animals, saving people, Thad. Making the newspaper. I'm not sure where I'm going with this, but it's fun. All right, one major disappointment of a stream. Well, good thing Van Scoter wasn't around to see that game. Boy, would he have been disappointed in me. He would have been disappointed in me. Now all my dudes are gone. Man, man, oh man, oh man. The worst part about that is make, I'm like, I don't mind playing with Syracuse another year, but it's coming up with the thumbnail idea. That's the worst, the worst. It is the worst thing ever.
I don't know. I don't know where Stumpy was. He wasn't here all night. Hey, it worked! I fixed it! Yeah! I thought about making my thumbnails. Did I save this yet? I did, right? Better do it again. I have a major problem. I can never remember if I save stuff, and then I don't save it, and then I log on, and I'm like, oh, man. But I think, uh, I think I might do a Microsoft Paint version of uh, Syracuse thumbnail for every one of them. I try. I I did work on it the other day, so that makes me happy. <clears throat> Seriously, put all that work in the thumbnail, and then you lose. That's real fun. It's real good. Real good job, Mac. Real good job. Real fun. But yeah, I don't know, man. Patreon members, we'll get that draft going, all right? I know Sean was asking. We'll get it going. Don't stress. We will get it. We will get it going. I miss you. We will definitely get that going. I believe he did that. I mean, it's amazing. Don't get me wrong, it's amazing. But I'm surprised you did it. All right, well, I suppose. Till next time. Can't believe Syracuse lost, bro. Not over that. I'm not over that one. Have a good night, Sam. Go Stetson. Stumpy isn't the only famous person around here. That's true. A lot of them. A lot of them. a lot of them summit with the super chat oh let's go man appreciate it thank you dude i don't even know if my thing works anymore couldn't tell you maybe there it is summit husker challenged the champ horns down forever Horns down forever. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. You have to do that. You're trying to build your own stuff. Well, at least we beat Texas. Gosh, I've just never seen I've never seen an NCAA football game like that in my life. I'm so ticked off about that. I'm not going to get over that one. 15-0 and 0, right down the drain. <laughs> oh, man. Not necessarily down the drain. We did bring in some recruits. But I feel like my team is worse. I think defensively, I think we're better. Thanks, Summit. I think defensively we're better, but offensively, I don't. I hate my running back. Can't stand him, but I don't know. I was just telling him, Summit, I think I'm going to do just uh, Microsoft Paint thumbnails for Syracuse next season. Just draw one up. I'm not even kidding either. Like, I'm going to draw a Syracuse Falls stick player with, like, an S, and then whoever I play, try to, like, 
draw the Nittany Lions logo all just by hand. 100,000 likes. Dude, the broken tackles. Oh. Awesome. It's my, just Microsoft Paint it. I'm not. I'm going to try to do it. Oh yeah, John Garrison. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw them myself, as hideous as I can make them. Rock on. Putting in all the cute work. Hell with it. Or put an anime character on there. Yeah. Yeah, anime, let me see, anime, Syracuse, what do we have? Oh, there is something called anime Syracuse. Try to get cut, oh, there's an anime cartoon. The art of Odo, the mascot. He has his own anime kind of thing. Hmm. Well, who would have thought? The Orange from Syracuse has its own anime. Gas Mask, what's up, man? Nice to see you. I'm just, just taking off. Hey, appreciate everybody on uh, Facebook. Didn't recognize anybody over there, but I saw the likes, so I appreciate you watching. All right, well, I'm out of here. Summit, appreciate it, man. Nick J, thanks for the earlier don't know too. Appreciate it. I don't know I'll reach my goals, but we're going to try. Got half a month left. We'll give it heck. All right, so Stetson is in the final four, believe it or not. Now we take on Ohio State Buckeyes. We win that. I like it a lot. We're going to the natty. Thanks, James. We're going to the natty. Going to the natty. If we win that game, we got two games left. And I, Grant was texting me earlier and he said, yo, do you remember? He's like, you remember the Iowa? Like, do you realize you could win a natty four years earlier at Stetson? I'm like, yeah, you just, you never know these things, man. You never know. You get the right run going. Took me forever to win with Iowa, but we were, we, we ran into some bad luck there too. It's a bad mamma jamma. This one, I feel like we've gotten the ball to bounce our way a few times. You know, we've gotten lucky. Just like even making it. Making it in the uh, tournament. We had a one by one. Otherwise, we weren't even in the tournament. So, Hey, Tack, man, I'm glad you found the channel. Appreciate you watching, buddy. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you probably tomorrow night or tomorrow day. Well, we'll see. Probably tomorrow night.